Korath, the smallest planet in the Grey Zone, home to just two types of people, Union Contractors and us, their miners. We never called Korath home. Slaves. That was the first time I heard the word 24 years ago. We are slaves, whispered my father on my first day working in the Tritium Mines. He told me never to say the word out loud. The Union mercenaries, keepers as they were known, executed anyone who uttered it, along with anyone who heard. Master! You can rest all your life when you're dead! Slaves. I fed on it. That day, my father slipped and broke his leg. A keeper rushed in to give him hell. Get up, you lazy cur! Or it's the sinner's wall for you! I can't. It's, it's broken. I just stood there in the rain, watching my injured father whipped by a man no older than I. It is then that I snapped. The next thing I knew, a rock was in my hand and a voice echoed through the cavern. Only after did I realize it was mine. Say it! We're slaves! Say it! And I crushed the Keeper's skull! I kneeled beside my father and wept. All the anger washed from me like the sluices clearing the caverns. He reached for my hand and placed in it the amulet he always kept around his neck. They'll learn. They'll kill you. Take this and go. Protect her, and she will protect you. Her? She? Was he losing his mind? I heard another keeper coming. Father shouted at me in a fury. Go! Take her far away! And he pushed me when I stalled. I used an old sluice to get out of the mine before they raised the alarm and escaped into the woods with the keepers on my tail, raging and bellowing for revenge. I saw her, iridescent blue like the amulet in my hand. She looked at her own arms as if for the first time, and then she looked at me. The shouts of the approaching keepers woke us both from our wonder. Follow. I can help. For hours she led me through the wilds, always ahead of the hunters, until we reached some entangled ruins I never knew existed. She stopped before a lofty archway and a strange circle, a portal perhaps exploded into life at her command. The ruins shook and threatened to fall, speechless. I stood in watchful awe, until at last she came to me and said, I don't know who you are, but if I'm alive, then you damn well need to stay that way too. Come. But where? I asked. Does it matter? She was right. Nothing but a slow death on the sinner's wall awaited me here. With a deep breath, I clutched the stone, remembering my father's words, and followed her again. Followed a will that was more than just my own.